now uh, we continue with uh, repetition sentinel control okay if you see we have two questions here the first one create a program that will calculate the area of tan circle the second one create a program that will calculate the area of circles based on radius the program will stop if user enter negative radius For the first question, create a program that will calculate the area of 10 circles. In this question, you know that the program will calculate the area of 10 circles. 10 circles based on the radius entered. So, repetition control structure using counter control because it's already state that 10 circles. So, the look the repetition will happen for 10 times. For the second question, create a program that will calculate the area of circles based on radius. The program will stop if user enter negative radius. In this question, you did not know how many times the program will calculate the area of circle remember in this question you did not know how many times the program will calculate the area of circle but you know that the program will stop if user enter negative radius so the keyword here but you know that the program will stop remember if user enter negative radius so this repetition control structure using sentinel control. To solve this kind of problem, we need these three guidelines. The first one, initial value. Remember, initial value of sentinel control variable input from user. Second, condition to test the sentinel control variable. Remember, second, condition. Number three, update the value of sentinel control variable. It's also from input from user. Okay, based on the second question, initial value of sentinel control variable. So input from user. So input from user, read radius. Condition to test sentinel control variable. So why? radius greater or equal to zero number three update the value of sentinel control variable so input from the user read radius so remember these three guidelines initial value condition to test and update the value of sentinel okay for the Right pseudo code. So start. Read radius. Okay, this read radius actually initial value of sentinel variable for the second question. Huh? Okay, then while radius greater or equal to zero. So this one is condition to test sentinel variable. If true means computer will execute the statement. So area equal to 3.142 multiple with radius, multiple with radius. Then print area okay, to repeat the this statement update the value of sentinel variable so this one read radius so when read radius check the true means this statement will be executed okay until false given false and y start stop so this is the format for pseudo code draw the flow chart okay start use the capsule shape okay read radius use parallelogram shape if the radius radius greater or equal to zero true means process statement area equal to 3.142 multiple radius multiple radius after process print the area then read radius 
check again if true. So this statement will be repeated. So next, read radius until this condition falls. So when falls, stop. So this is an example for flow chart for counter center.